Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to show you how easy it is to remove backgrounds from images inside of Word and adjust the wrapping points. Okay, so I've got a blank document here in Word. I'm going to go ahead and put in some random text. I'll use the um, equals lorem 10 comma 10 for 10 paragraphs, 10 sentences each. That'll give me some generic lorem ipsum text just to work with here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, insert, I'll do online pictures, and I'm going to do a search here for Snowy Mountain. And we got a picture of this family up on the ski lift, on the chair lift. Go ahead and insert that into my document. And what I'd like to do is I'd really just like to get the people, just the family. I want to get rid of the background here and, uh, and a lot of the machinery. So and then I'll have the text wrap around just as people. Let me go ahead and size this image a little bit more appropriately. In fact, I'll go ahead and right now, by double clicking the image, certainly it activates the Format tab here for Picture Tools. And I can go to Text, te text Wrap and choose Tight. But of course my image is very square shaped, so it's pretty much the same as a square wrapping. So now with this image selected, I'm going to use this option over here on the far left of the uh, Format ribbon, Remove Background. And instantly, Word is trying to help remove portions of the background. So the pink stuff is the stuff that's going to disappear. But I'm still going to have various sections on here, and it's taking away their legs and things like that. Well, just by adjusting the removal markers here, the background markers, I can adjust the portion to a, to a level that I'm satisfied with. And if I want a little bit more detail, Word does give me a couple options to mark specific areas to keep and mark areas to remove. In fact, if I zoom in a little bit, you might realize that eh, maybe some of the feet and the skis would be kind of nice. So I could mark areas to keep and then just kind of click to get a little bit more acceptance. And let's say I'll keep that specific areas there. And I think, you know, that might look pretty good. Well, let's see how the finished product does look. Once I've kind of decided on this, I can choose to keep choose to keep changes. And although I'm missing a snowboard there, I'm pretty happy with it. Let me zoom out for a moment. And since I chose a tight wrapping, we can see that the text is more closely hugging around the individuals. Now I still have this big rectangle, so I'm going to fix that by going to my crop tool on the right, and I'm just going to kind of crop in so that my image more closely represents the people. And then I'll choose the crop button to accept that, and then I can size them a little bit better. And kind of I'll position them off a little bit here to the left. And I like how the text is wrapping around over here on the right edge, but obviously this is a problem over here on the far left. So what I'm going to do now is go to my text wrapping drop down, and I want to edit the wrap points. I really like the tight wrapping along the right side, but I want to affect it up here at the top. So I'm just going to move these wrap points out so that there's not enough room for text go too far downward from the top and I don't want any text to show up on the left side of this image. So even though this isn't truly necessary here, I'm just showing you, you can really spread these wrap points out. But I'm going to keep them tight along this uh, the dad over here on the right side. And then I'm satisfied with that so I can just click anywhere. So now this image has had the background removed and I've got tight wrapping with the wrapping points adjusted so that the text is really flowing exactly where you wanted.